Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. I want to welcome you back in for another video. And this is one that I'm going to do with you that's going to provide you a shipping tip for shipping out items that, including the packaging, weigh 16 ounces or less. Uh, and using a little bit of a creative method that you may not have thought of before with materials that you have on hand. Now this is generally going to be useful for um, cylindrical objects like bottles that are relatively light yet fragile and you want to protect them well. Or they could be smaller uh, figurines uh, as well that they could be any shape but are ones again that uh, don't weigh a lot. Uh, again the total with the packaging would be uh, 16 ounces or less but again you want to protect them well and uh, this is a method uh, involving some materials that you have on hand that you may be discarding uh, and I'm going to show you how to use it in a way that could be productive for you and save you some money. So. Uh, if you go to my prior video on uh, use of bubble wrap, uh, you will see that um, the bubble wrap comes in these rolls like this. And inside of here, right around this roll, is cardboard. And what it looks like when it's all said and done, when you take all of it off, it's going to look like this. Okay, now, this is actually a strong piece. It's really, really strong. You are not going to really be able to uh, dent it even with applying some significant force to it. I mean, ultimately you could, but in general, with a regular amount of handling, this is pretty strong, okay? So what you can do is that you could take, let's say, for example, you're shipping out um, a bottle like this, like about this size, and as you can see here, it would fit in here, okay? So it's got to be something that's going to fit, obviously, within this diameter. Okay, and I actually happen to have something here. Um, I have it wrapped up in bubble wrap. Now this would be used the thick bubbles, and as you can see through here, probably this is a little bit glary. But what this is is a vintage bottle of uh, Kodak um, movie film cleaner. And so I've said this before in other videos, but vintage Kodak bottles and vintage Kodak items sell really well. I happen to find a lot of it around here because Kodak's headquarters in Rochester, New York, and I'm about 90 minutes from Rochester being in the Syracuse area. So I, I turn up a lot of these things and do well with the old Kodak bottles, but I don't want it to damage when it gets to the uh, customer in the mail. So what I do is I take this and I actually use this as the uh, shipping um, tube. And the way I do that is, I, I, again, I take this, I wrap it in um, th uh, the thick, the large bubbles, okay? And then what it's ultimately gonna do is it's going to go in here, okay? Now, we don't want it shaking around like this in the um, container because there's a possibility that depending on how rough it's handled, that something bad might happen to it. So we wanna keep it as stable as possible, but you also wanna do that with light packing material. So I would suggest that you either take some light tissue paper like this and you just put it into one side, or if you don't have light tissue paper on hand, you could just take these light plastic bags. Now, the, I, I reuse everything. So for example, from the dry cleaners, they send the, they bring me the stuff from the dry cleaners and my clothes come around these bags. So I just take the bags off, the plastic bags off. They're really light. And I just cut them up and use them and for something like this. So I would stuff this side here. So now it's not going to shake. It's all in there nice and stable. But we obviously need something to fill out the end here like this. So that's why if you look at my other videos, I've talked to you a lot about having some cardboard on hand that you could use for different purposes. So what I would suggest is that you just have some small pieces of cardboard like this, you know, ready to use for whenever. And what you would do is you would just take your uh, tube. Now you could obviously take it with all the stuff out of it and you would just lay it right on top here, okay? And just like you would have done when you were younger in school, you would just take a pencil and you would just draw a circle right around the tube like this. So I just go all the way around, okay? So just like that. So it would look something like that. And then real quick, you would just take your scissors. I suggest having one of these large shear scissors to do it rather than a standard pair of scissors because this is not gonna cut cardboard too well. I love these shear scissors. I'll actually put a link to it down below in the description section if you uh, would like to get these. These cut through cardboard like butter and save you so much time. But you would just cut circle right around that. And ultimately, what it's going to look like 
is something like this. And you're then just gonna cut two of them. So that's it. And then you're gonna take it and you're just gonna fit it to size right like this. Put it right over it. So I just put one side down like that. And then I just take my tape gun right here and I'm just gonna tape it shut. So I just put one end over like that. Just bring it down, just tighten up the flaps. And then I'm gonna go the other way to further secure it. Go down like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna just go diagonal on it. So go diagonal in that direction, like that. And then I'm just gonna go in the other direction, diagonal. So now there's no way that it's gonna come off of there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, I pushed this down a little bit and you could see there's still a little space there. So I'll just grab something else here. It's got a little bit extra tissue paper, for example, and I'll just crumple it up and just put it in like that. So now there's definitely no space. Got my other circle, other cardboard circle, plop it right on top. And then I'm just gonna take a piece of tape. And if you want to, you could just pull the tape off like that to work with it a little bit easier. Just lay it right over, put it right down like that. Then we're just gonna do the other side, just like that. And that one just needs to be trimmed up a little bit because I went a little too long with it. So I'll just trim that little flap off. There we go. Then we're gonna go diagonal with it. And we're gonna go diagonal on the other side. So now, both sides are nice and secure. I've got a nice little compact shipping container. You see that? It is not, you cannot really hear this moving around in here. That's just the tissue paper right there, a little sound from that, but this is nice and secure inside. Now, uh, just one other thing, one other added layer of protection. I mean, you could probably go without doing this, but you know, over time with tape, sometimes the ends tend to kind of pop off a little bit. So just to give it a one little extra layer of security, what I like to do is just put one round of tape right around that loop right there, just like that. So I'm just gonna go like this and just circle it around real quick. That's why I like having the tape gun. It just gets that done real fast. And then I'm just gonna do the other side the same way. And now we're all gonna be all set. Let's go around. Now all I have to do, I am all set. There is no way this is gonna come off. No way this is gonna separate. No way this is gonna break in. This thing is super hard. I've got a bottle in here that is gonna get to its destination, no problem. In terms of the shipping label, all you have to do, print out your shipping label, cut it off, and just tape it right on here. And then that's it, you're set. The, you know, the post office is gonna take this just like they would take a regular box. And you don't have to spend any money buying the box. You're using materials you already have on hand. So I have, you know, a whole bunch of these things just ready to go whenever I uh, have, you know, a container. Now, you'll see, by the way, that once you pull off the bubble wrap, there's going to be this little bit of tape on it. So all you have to do is you just have to pull it off like this and then just, you'll be all set. You just got to pull all that tape off and just clear it. And, you know, you can see there's a little bit more left, but all you do, pull it off. It's really easy, not hard at all. It comes right off. And there you go. Now you can see it's all set and ready to go and you could just use it for shipping. So I hope that this is helpful for you if you wind up using this technique or think you're gonna use it um, uh, for, for some of your shipping methods. Uh, let me know that down below in the comments section if you found that helpful or if you have other helpful ways that you like to ship bottles or you know cylindrical items like this, other creative methods along these lines please let me know. Also hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other ones. I've got all sorts of tips from negotiation to sourcing, haul videos, all sorts of things that you could learn to help you with your reselling business. Please make sure if you want to see some other tips that you join my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. The link is down below in the description section. Again, I will also put the link to these shears 
the link to these shears. Uh, it will be an Amazon link. It's a uh, product link that I do make a small little commission off of it. Nothing major, but it does help support the channel. So, or if you're just buying anything through Amazon, you know, use the link down below. It helps me out. I appreciate it. Uh, with that, just, uh, uh, again, make sure you join my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. And um, also make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Just click the treasure chest up top or just hit subscribe anywhere uh, on my YouTube channel and that will get you notifications for other videos that are coming out. And I appreciate seeing the support through all the subscriptions. So hope to see you all again soon. I've got a bunch of other good videos uh, all lined up for you coming up uh, during the week. So see you back soon. Bye-bye everyone.